Hi, I'm Merrick Tomato. And I'm Classic Gamer. And welcome back to Let's Play Broken Sword 2, The Smoking Mirror. Indeed. We're here with Nico, and uh, Classic is going to help us uh, help us see an, an Easter egg. Yes, so the Easter egg is from um, one of uh, Revolution Software's earlier games. Earlier than their second game, I believe. Um, the first game was called Lure of the Templars, or Te Temperus, something like that. Temptress. And yeah, and okay. the second game was called um, Beneath a Steel Sky. One of that, one of the best adventure games ever. It's definitely one we should do. Um, and um, I've, I've looked, I've, I've looked it up how to do it because I don't think I've done this, and I never, I never do it whenever I do this. Um, so, first of all. Um, examine that blue machine on the left. It's our first stage. It was an old chocolate vending machine. Okay, try looking in the little slot at the top. One D only was embossed below the coin slot. Something protruded slightly from the slot. The slot was much too thin for my fingers. So you have something in your inventory that you can use. That's it. I pushed the hair clip into the slot and whatever was stuck there disappeared into the machine. So do okay, I use so, the machine now or what? Um, yeah, use the... Um, Save it first. I don't want to get this wrong. So just save it first. And use uh, the coin. Uh, well, look at the coin first. You can look at the coin. I don't have a coin. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll grab it from the... Sorry. There was a copper projection. coin in the cup. My bad. <laughs> now you can I look at the I pulled out an old English penny. It was an old English penny coin. On one side was Britannia, managing to look both virginal and matronly. On the other was the head of King George VI, looking much the same. It's a World War II. Coin. It's a World War II coin, indeed. So now you want to use the coin on the slot at the top. You use it on the vending machine, you want to use it on the slot. <laughs> An ancient bar of chocolate dropped into the tray at the bottom of the machine. And as a special bonus, the penny dropped through to the reject pocket. I pulled out an old English penny. Okay, now try going as far left as you can. So you, you see that weighing machine bar? on the right. Oh yeah, pick up the chocolate bar. A yep. flap covered the tray into which the machine dispensed chocolate bars. Now, I took the that, that, ancient bar of chocolate. That weighing machine on, on the right, try and go as far to the, the left of the screen. It was a very old bar of chocolate with a row of boys pictured on the wrapper. Why did you open it, as you, Nico? <laughs> so You're that, not going to eat that, that, I hope. No, 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 no. I don't think she is. So try go, try going as far left as you can, as far as she will walk, so that, that weighing machine goes off the screen. A of old railway sleepers was blocking the platform. You should be able to go far across the cross, so it, it, it disappears. There I'd we go. probably break my neck if I climbed over the sleepers, or worse, a heel. Now, very carefully, go back over to the right, but just don't go. Just click about there, just just in front where the where the where the steps come out. Just click there and just make a just make a walk. Right here. Yeah, just about there. Oh, it's a ghost. So, do you know who that ghost is? No. It's Khan. Oh. The ghost didn't seem oh. threatening in any way. Yeah. Now, give the bar of chocolate to the ghost. Should we talk to him first, or will that make him go away? Uh, it, she'll, he'll disappear, okay. or she'll disappear, because it is a lady, a ghost, after all. No, it's, a, it's Khan. Yes, but he was dressed as she a woman. was dressed. He was dressed up as a woman last time we saw him. 
Uh, that was just the disguise, though. Yes. The ghost obviously didn't want to talk. Perhaps it was shy. Right, now try going back over to the sleepers and see if you can go over them again. That This should be what you need to do. Right, you click it down the tunnel. There we go, that's it. Yes. Oh. Who the hell are you? Joey, is that you? Oh, I remember you now. Hey, listen, don't go near that hole. Nobody tells Robert Foster what to do, lady. You don't understand. I've played this game before. There's something horrible in that hole. Some beast with tentacles. You're nuts. They don't make animations like that anymore. That's the Easter egg. <laughs> All right, that's <laughs> that's the main character from Beneath the Steel Sky, Robert Foster. And the Joey that he speaks about is the nice little robot that follows you around throughout the game. Hmm. So is and we don't get to talk to the ghost at all. No, unfortunately, the ghost will disappear each time. It was an old ticket machine. A sign read, Tickets 3D. Guess I can just so inspect can't use, everything now. You can't use the coin on the ticket machine, but you can examine anything you want. If you want to examine it, then go for it. The machine looked like it had sold its last ticket a long time ago. It was a poster advertising holidays in Scotland. It might have been a nice souvenir if it hadn't been torn and dirty. Right, now use the um, coin on the weigh machine. Okay. So why is Khan haunting... Uh, it was an old map of the London Underground. I don't know. tube station. He didn't die here. The no, no, he didn't, was but maybe he's watching over Nico. Heard of. The date because on the poster was before if you remember, I was born. He only gets shot because he was protecting Nico when he True. died. Because when they got taken, he was taken as well. S. Lubes. What are lubes? It means pounds. Uh, I have some very no, not life. not pounds. Stone. Is it stone or pounds? L B S L E R B S. I don't know, but L B S is pounds. Yeah, pounds. I thought it was pounds. I put the old penny into the slot, the needle twitched rustily, and the machine spat out a card. You can examine the card if you want to. The machine wasn't about to weigh me for nothing. The weight was in Imperial units. It meant nothing to me. The card also had my fortune on it. A family quarrel will turn out to your advantage. It looked just like the modern one. No, it doesn't. It was a maintenance Not anymore, cover. at least. Well, the 90s, possibly accurate. A latch lock stopped me getting well, this into was the Well, this was a station back in the 40s. True. But this is when she refers to the modern one. It oh yeah, the one yeah, in the 90s. yeah. We 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 now have an even bigger um, map on probably because now we've got the the most recent rail that was open, the Elizabethan line, otherwise known as Cross Rail. Hmm. The blade of the dagger just fitted between the door and the soft wood frame. The door so gave slightly and then held firm. Try looking at the lights and the tunnel before you do anything else. The train signal light still worked. A warning sign saying high voltage convinced me to leave the lights alone. It was the tunnel the train had come out of. It was too dangerous to start walking along the tracks. I remembered what always happened to Wiley Coyote when he did that. 
So do we have to interact with the train as it comes by, or can we look at the cupboard now? Um, look at the cupboard, and um, what have you got that might you might be able to use to open it? I already opened it with the dagger. But what else have you got to maybe open it more so you can interact with it? You a just latch got it a moment ago. Give me Give that clue. Uh, okay. That's the crack we gotta use on the crack. A small crack had appeared where the dagger had pried the door from its frame. Ah, Through the crack, I could just make out the latch which stopped the door from opening. My fingers were too big. The hair grip was too thick to fit into the crack. Ah, right. Yes. Well done. I remembered my student days when I regularly forgot my house keys. A wiggle with the thick card between the frame and the lock and the latch lifted. It was a big, red, ever so tempting button. <laughs> I love descriptions like that. And hello, presto. <laughs> the train was my ride out of there. I could worry about not having a ticket when I got to the docks. Those characters in there look oddly familiar somehow. They do. Do we get the one on the left the reminds me of the farmer from Broken Sword 1. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, zombie back to Zombie Island. So this is the... This bit is the big jungle area with a lot of um, twists and turns. Um, there's one which actually takes you up to a place. So I think if you go up there, what I want to what I want to hopefully trigger won't trigger. So uh, try going down the path that's not that way, but the other one. That's it. And save it before we do anything, because I'm hoping these other things will trigger. You know how like you, you like... Um, torturing George? Torturing George. Well, this is kind of like semi-torture. First of all, examine that thing in the centre. Down a bit. That's it. The swamp. A clump of reeds grew out of the stinking swamp. Ah, oh, we're going underwater, aren't we? It was a stagnant swamp. Nothing, I mean nothing, would possess me to step into that swamp. <laughs> I, I it love that. It was a short, bit. hollow reed. I don't know why I it love that. It was Rio's bit, fishing I, net. I love it. It's just a refusal from George. Okay, so on the far right, up, of, uh, up. That's it. Exit up the top. You just, yeah, that's it. I'm so assuming quite we're going to use the reed to uh, breathe underwater at some point. Oh, you use the reed, but not in the way you're thinking. Oh, I know what we use it for. You can try that. The end of the reed was too narrow for the dart to fit into. Ah. Worth a shot, I guess. So, in that, you see that stone in front of you, like the stone rock under the tree? To the right of it. That's it. There Just was something in that hole beneath the rock. What did you say to do first? I think, uh, just examine the lair and then, so examine it and then examine it closer. As soon as I stooped to investigate the hole, its inhabitant disappeared into the darkness. Try again. The creature disappeared again, but I caught a glimpse of something small and furry. Okay, so what have you got that you could use in there? Uh, 
Good effort. No, not yet. We don't use that yet. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Fuck off, George. <laughs> oh, you were just on it a second ago. The end of the reed had been neatly bitten off. Now I right, knew so what was living in there. A long-toothed, snarling, furry, wild thing. So uh, we do eventually get on the other side of that of that tree. So that you see that path on the other side. So there's three pathways. There's the one right at the bottom of the screen. The reed. There's Great. one in the middle of the screen. I was tooled up and there's and one dangerous. at the top. You can see the path at the top. They made a typo. Did they? They forgot the S in dangerous. The poison ah. dart was loosely lodged inside the reed. Also, we made a blowgun now. So if you if you just move your cursor on the on the right side of the screen, just for a second. So the ways out are down at the bottom where your mount where your cursor is, and then up up in the middle. About yeah, there's one up the top there. <laughs> Where your mouse is just dang, and then one in the center. So I think it's the one in the top that takes you to the place. I don't, I don't want to go just yet because I want to try and get these random events to trigger. If we can't, then I'll just tell them what they are. Because hopefully one will trigger. Um, I, when I first heard them, I was in hysterics. Um, so you want to go out, um, not where you came in to this area, but up, the, up above it. There should be another. It should change to a hand in a minute. Pointing. Definitely around there. Uh, is that... Oh yes, you got it right. It's very hard to try and get because it kind of makes you think it's um. So you just want to go straight to the other side of the screen. Nothing straight interesting over. here. Nope, nothing interesting here. Okay, it's just up from where you are, where you came in. Down a bit. There you go. You had it. That's it. So th this is um, a real maze of um, ways. So if you go some different ways, you'll end up... Um... I'll try... Go uh... Save. I'll just... Yeah, save it, just in case I get it wrong. I'm trying to remember which way it is that right. takes you to where. I don't want to go there just yet. Try going through. Then. So try going it through the middle exit. See where that takes you first. That's it. Ah. <laughs> Stay cool, Stobart. It was only a bird. Uh, I was hoping he'd get defecated upon. <laughs> No, but that, that is that's fucking brilliant, mate. I'm so glad I got that to trigger. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me how we got back, end up back here. Well, where do we go? That way? This way? That um, way? I think if you go out that so to the right, um, it might take you back to where you just were, but go out there anyway. I'm hoping the other random event will happen. I cannot get these these random events to trigger in the remastered version. I hope George so. has a uh, good bug spray for this. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's 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 the way I didn't want to go. Shit! You can load it if you want, or or you can I can just tell you what the other random event. I'll try is. to get the random events naturally. So try going to the top one. We want to try and stay down, stay down here, and not go up to that hill we were just on as long as possible. So we're not on the right side. So try going in the in the middle one, in the side you are. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Now I was completely <laughs> lost. <laughs> uh, it's just, I think it's just one exit where you just came in. 
It's so funny. <laughs> 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 There's something else that George just says. That he's Hold on. Like a drink. <laughs> I've been here before. Haven't I? <laughs> I love George in this area. <laughs> we triggered that twice. Nice. <laughs> Middle, top, or bottom? Um, save it again, and we'll try the bottom. He's being attacked by punks. <laughs> right, go what back is and see this? The magic forest of deja vu or something? <laughs> Can I get George eaten by a snake? No, unfortunately not. Okay. What the f oh. All right. Huh? <laughs> this is a lot less fun than another bayou. I, I was had going to, around in circles. I had to maze through in a different adventure game. I just I just think I just think George's George's um you know uh reaction. I was going around just, in circles. He's really, really good, but unfortunately this other random event isn't gonna trigger. Then this is us back here. I don't think it, I don't think it, we're gonna get it. I'll be honest. It's a it's a bloody nuisance. But oh, where's the? I don't want to be here, do I? Um, we gotta get back up to the mountain, don't we? Uh, yeah, you don't have to, but you can if you want to. Well, the mountain seemed important somehow. It is important, but we can go up there and then come back. We might get the other thing to trigger if we wander around in circles for a bit again. Ugh. I could have... <laughs> What the f <laughs> Okay, I'm getting a little annoyed now. Uh, sorry. Not at you, just at uh, mazes. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, this is why we saved. <laughs> um, try the middle path. And I go. I think you go straight across. That's it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> So I'll, I'll, I don't think we're going to get the other one to trigger unless you want to wander around. For nah, about five I minutes. really don't. So the other random event is um, the sudden like chatter that comes over the over like oh, the monkey, surrounding area. Monkey chatter. Yeah, a monkey chatter. So it's just like, ring, ring, and, and George goes, "What the?" And he just goes, "Steady, guys, just a monkey." <laughs> Initials have been carved into the rock. But I find that hilarious. It's one of my favourite parts. In the Initials coffee. carved into the stone, right? Yep. Clear as day. K. Frederick Ketch had been here. So I'm making a deadly premonition reference. FK you in the think... coffee. Three shallow holes no, have don't. been made in the rock. Joining the dots would make an equilateral triangle. What have you got that will make an equilateral triangle? The coal, <laughs> really? Well, I was, I, I was thinking like connect the dots, and it's um, no. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> Where did you pull that from? Shh, don't worry about it. It was Bronson's theodolite, now being put to a nobler use than petty larceny. Oh, so amateur treasure hunting. Oh, you can't use the for like at the, the hill I was on had hunt. reminded me of a camel's hump as I'd climbed up it. Now I right. So we need to put the, the shiny thing. Yeah, and we have to find. Um, go back to where you know that other pathway that you went to earlier. 
uh, the, where you said oh, is this, uh, I'll, I'll tell you where you need to go. Go back to like the main cliff, it, cliff area where you came up initially. You should be able to get back there by going back the way you came. Okay, that's annoying because it's taking us this way. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Bottom of the screen, that's it. George, you are an asshole. Oh, you can go further that way. I thought that was a dead end, I'll be honest. If he doesn't right, shrug, then... I think it's not a dead end. He'll usually I think when he say shrugged... something if it's a dead end. Okay, so save it here because you you I don't know if you'll be able to make this particular um, thing where you have to you have to time it right. So in a minute you use your bow dart, but before you do that branch above you ah it's done this. So if you look at the tra tranche tree, tree above George, a bit a lot further along, that's it. It was a stout overhanging branch. So in a minute, you'll get a, a thing if where I you jumped, have to... I could just about reach the branch. You can either, right, you, you either run further afield, but if you open up that path Climbing in front of you... Climbing the tree wasn't going to help any in this situation. It's a shortcut to the camel's hump. Oh, okay. You can try talking to the boar if you want. Talking Quite to funny him? what you said. The path was blocked by an ugly and extremely dangerous looking boar. Remarkably small. The boar's expression said, forget it, Stobart. I think you've worked out what to do, haven't you? So when you use it, use it and then quickly click on that branch. You need to be quick though. The boar looked determined to stop me from getting past. I should have... Why didn't you use it? I should have worked. The boar looked determined to stop me from getting past. I don't know past. why he's not using it George, on George, you are stupid. Yes, he is. The boar looked determined... Are you right clicking on the ball with the dart bow dart? Or... No, I'm left clicking. Okay. Should I right click? No, no I, you should left click, but it's just not it's not doing it, which is I, really really weird. I don't know why it's it's gone. It might be why it wasn't working. It might have um, disappeared. The boar looked at. Because, you know, sometimes when you click and you don't mean to, that it gets rid of it. The board off. Oh. George, you are an imbecile. <laughs> I admire the effort. It's gone again. I know. I'm trying to th figure something out. I mean, you have to obviously be on the, the screen enough so you can see the ball, but so the camera doesn't make the item disappear. There we go. There we go. Remember, click on that branch. Yep. So that's a shortcut back to the um that branch had helped me all it was going to so i can follow that you can try going that way i think it take that i'm sure that takes you to where i'm thinking but i could be wrong i think you go to the i think you go off to the right as well i believe so we've just assaulted a fair. pig 
Ooh. Ah, no, no. Ah. So what's that? Eye of the needle. Yep. It was a needle of rock in the middle of the clearing. It didn't look like a natural formation. No I shit. remembered Ketch's log. For is it not writ that tis easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle? Seemed pretty relevant now. No good. I'd have to be bitten by a radioactive spider before I stood any chance of getting up there. The rock was partially overgrown by creepers. The creeper just came away from the rock as I pulled it. I could see no point in tying the net to the creepers on the rock. The marker wasn't going to stay attached to anything as thick as the creeper. The marker clipped firmly onto the net. There was no point in tying... There was no point... You've got the right idea about the needle rock. No. Just not I where you're trying to put it. The creeper didn't look like it would hold my weight. Okay, he's... He's no, he being an idiot. Yes. The creeper... So what have you got... What, what have you, what have you got in your inventory that you could use on the creeper, without having the creeper in your hand, obviously? There we go. Great. I'd created some sort of creeper marker fishing net assembly. Sometimes I terrify myself with my creative genius. No, I think you know what you need to do now. I'd successfully got the marker into a position near the top of the needle simply by using the kind of lateral thinking that can get you institutionalized. So, adventure game logic. <laughs> so, I go out the exit. Up, that's, the marker should be visible for miles. That's, um, out the back. Uh, that's it. That, that one. Try going that way. I don't remember where any of these paths go. Obviously, the ones in the jungle are all random. So, are we going to meet any zombies at all? Oh no! Oh. Not back here. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know how that exit took you back there. I mean, I, I don't understand that. Right, go back to where the boar was. I think it's over to the right screen. That's it. And then go the way that the boar went. Because if you don't grab that branch, the boar won't open that but that other way. At, It'll at just the back of the hit screen. us, right, I assume. Well, no, he, he'll run off to the left. Oh, okay. Completely off screen to the left. So you, you'll you'll run away. So he won't even get amusingly injured by a boar. He he get he gets kind of like really like, oh shit, he's coming towards me. And he'll kind of like weirdly run and then stood to the side while the boar runs off into the distance. I mean, fair enough, but uh, that there's no, uh, the ju boar hits George Stobart. Because there's no way a wild boar hits Stobart and Stobart isn't dead. Because wild boars are vicious little buggers. Often quite vicious large that. buggers. They are... They will kill you. I believe you. 
Right, so before we, um, there's uh, other sort of things that you can see through this through the theater light. So you you go left or right by going to the, the way to the far side of the screen, it's left or right. That's it. Ooh, there should be hello. anything that you can. Uh, there are some caves you can see that you can look at. This is all the way to the right. Okay, that exits out. We can, so we don't have um, up and down, just side to side, right? Yeah, just side to side. Can you inter interact with anything or just move it? You can move it and then when you see something, you'll, you'll be able to, the first thing you'll be able to see in a minute. There you go. There's one right in front of you. It was a good cave for hiding treasure in. Shame about the flooding problem. No, that's actually very, <laughs> very useful for hiding treasure. It was a good cave for... Especially for a pirate. Indeed. Just use a boat. I keep going to the uh, right. Ooh, I see a pillar. A needle rock. Eye of the needle? Well, it doesn't have our doohickey on it, so no. I keep, keep going, keep going. Another cave, look. There was an enormous cave. Every tourist for the last three centuries must have been in that one. And then there's another cave. An ugly yeah, little cave. It. Didn't look like the sort of place you'd want to leave treasure. Okay, now go back to the left. I think we need to stop. Heck, Ketch could have hidden his treasure anywhere. This island's full of hiding places. Heck. More to the right. An, I know it's another eye there. It's more. It, go back to the right. It's more to the right. I won't. I won't tell you where. To, on the. I'll tell you when you're right. When you're on the right place, and then I'll let you look for it. Oh, you can't go further that way. All right, fair enough. We have to go back. To the left. Heck. Right now, what can you see on this screen? Check the whole screen. It was the marker which I had raised up the needle of rock. And then... I could see the marker I had fastened on the rock down in the forest. And right in line with it, that had to be where Ketch had hidden his treasure. Now, I saw that a minute ago, but I wanted you to just examine those other caves, so I didn't say anything about where it was. All right, we're done here. We can now exit out. Now over to sort of like the bottom of the screen. Like you don't and, pick it up I, again. You, you, so we just no. leave Bronson's Theodolite on Zombie <laughs> yeah. Island. All right, I'm down to that. I, I don't like him, so. So the the way to go out is, is not, it's the other side. Oh, okay. It's all right, we can go, um, just go straight back up. There we go. Ooh. We're somewhere else entirely. Yep, we're back in London with Nico. The Xibalba princess lay at anchor just below Tower Bridge. I knew I'd found the right ship as soon as I saw Pablo at the rail. You know who that person was on the train? It's that fucking guard. A guard patrolled the deck. 
He was That's sure to it was be on armed. the train, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. So it was a porthole to the main cabin. There's a point. It was risky. When that, when I the guard I could will get stop to the next to Pablo, unseen. If you try and move any other time, you will get you will get killed. The way you die is exactly how Pablo uh, would probably George, shoot me on sight. Um, got killed at the um, start of the game. You know when you get struck outside the warehouse. The guard it's basically, yes. the same animation. Exactly the same. Just I couldn't get near it with that guard patrolling the deck. I didn't think I had time to get to the mop before the guard reappeared. A mop for swabbing the deck stood against the wall. I have a plan. Mm -hmm. We need a wrought iron ball and a keg of black powder. <laughs> There's a cannon here. It's perfectly aimed. Yep. Uh, you can actually um, look at the uh, Tower Bridge in the background. It was Tower Bridge, a magnificent mess of mock Gothic architecture and Victorian engineering. I think you can look at the White Tower My as well. business was here, not on Tower Bridge. It was the Tower of London. Originally built by the French, naturally. Fuck off, Nico. It I was. was too busy to play I the know, tourist. Still. You know what else is built by the French? What? Statue of Liberty. It was indeed. It was a, it was gift. a gift to America. A ladder gave access to the cabin's roof. So if people um, I didn't think wonder, I had time to get the up white the tower, before the guard that building in the background, uh, is the White Tower of the Tower of London. It's the oldest tower in the Tower of London by an absolute mile, which date backs to, dates back to 1066. Also, another bit of history for you about the UK. The last proper English king to rule over England and believe it or not, our current royal family is descendants from Germans. We've had French, we've had Spanish, we've had Dutch, I think, I think as well, I believe. I think. Um, so, and the last English king was um, King Harold in 1066. And then the Norman Conquest happened. And then William the Conqueror, indeed. And everyone was called. Or him. as he was... As he, or as he was called beforehand, William the Bastard. The crate was sealed and too heavy to move. Now do we save? We can save it now, yeah. So do you, do you think you know what, you, what the aim is here? If you look at what's that... The so gangplank the, the crossed left. a collection of heaving litter. I suppose the Thames was under it somewhere. George, Nico, I resent that remark. Our, the Thames is not full of garbage, as you say, or full of rubbish. Would you take a jump into the Thames? No, I would. Then fair point to Nico in this case. It's the. Are you waiting? Yes. Okay. We've not seen Nico die before, you see. Yes, fair enough. So, what do you think you need to do while the guard is going around? The clue is is the it is, looked like is next the door to, that, to some sort of utility uh, locker. Metal examined. hooks had been welded onto each side of the door frame. Do still to the right up? of it. No, to climb the ladder. You do that. That does come into play. That does come into play. You need to cl you need to climb the ladder. That way, I'm out of sight. Yep. <clears throat> Nico, you have fifth freedom. <laughs> okay, so God damn it, it again. Nico! You just started World War Three. <laughs> Find the bunker. <laughs> God damn it, Fisher! Have I you told you no kills. Tom, God the damn it, Cole! Have you lost your mind? No, what are you doing? Don't go down the stairs. 
Uh oh. That mop fucking disappeared. Nico, Nico. Oh, she's too quick. stupid to climb ladders. Hey. I was thinking wanna... she'd reach over the edge and pick it up like a normal person, this situation. Okay, so obviously we have to get the guard out of the way. Yeah? So what do you think we need to do? You stab him. No. Okay. No, that's wrong. We give him cho chocolate. No. I can tell you if you want. If you want me to tell you, so the clue is when he stops to talk to ne uh, Nico, when he stops to talk to Pablo, that gives you the extra time before he goes around the other side of the cabin. So you can't go near that door because it's it's not going to give you an, an it's locked anyway. There's no point. I'll tell you that bit. So. What, what what other place is there that you could interact with that's beneath you that could distract him? We open the porthole? No, but you're close. Something else, but it's not a window. It's the other, it's the, it's the other thing that is what is something below Nico. You push the ladder over. No. Okay. You were just on it. You just hovered over it. There's not a whole lot interactable here. Do you want me to tell you? Yes. Okay. You open the... When he talks to Pablo, open the cu open the door of the cupboard. Okay. Got it. Yep. And now climb back up the ladder. And then when he goes, when he goes and checks it, he closes close the, the door. Gotcha. Yes, and but ex you can examine the door if you want to. It looked like the door to some sort of utility locker. Okay, so you had the right idea. So I, bl I, I block it with the mop. Gotcha. Yes. Because we, if, you, if you examine it, the door, she'll say, if you go to open it again, she'll say, it was then I realized there was no, there was no lock. That's the clue. Obviously, you're going to hold a door in place for a fucking mop. I mean, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. I was too slow. Well, no, yes. I wasn't too slow. She was too slow. <laughs> yes. Wait till he talks to Pablo. Just wait and he... Let, let him go around again. Because he won't do it this time. You might have enough time. Possibly. If she's not as slow as a bloody snail. Oh, shit. No, too slow. Nico, you are getting on my nerves. Just wait till he talks to Pablo. That's the easiest way to do it. It gives you more time. You have to wait for him to go around again. So he'll go, he'll go around again. And then he'll, he should And when he comes back around, he should then talk to Pablo. Doesn't seem to have much to say to Pablo. He would. He. I think it's like maybe like every three times he goes round. So he'll go round once, then again, and then on the third time he should talk to Pablo. Go. So when you pick up the mop, immediately use it on the cupboard. Otherwise, he'll 
He kind of jump out the like, uh, He kind of reminds me of one of uh, Cruella DeVille's henchmen in 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> Come on, Nico. You're very slow. Got you. All right, now save it again. Now, now I look in the porthole. But the color woman was there. Ooh. They'll know it was Garza. me. But you have the stone. The right yep. stone, you're sure? Yes, of course, it's the Jaguar stone. No possible mistake. Here it is. Garzak, please. The police will be looking for me soon. You're going to get me out of the country, aren't you? Stop your whining, UBA. Do you have any idea what this stone symbolizes? I thought you just wanted it to frighten the natives. Fool. I intend to cast this stone into the sea. But why? It's unique. Exactly. With it gone, the Mayan priest's plan to destroy Tezcatlipoca cannot succeed. I can assure you that Tezcatlipoca is a mythical figure. Such a small mind you live in. Tezcatlipoca is real. I have seen him in my dreams. We have spoken of his plans for this world. We have spoken of your part in these plans. My part? He told me you would be useful. He told me how to crush your spirit by turning you to drugs. My wife died. You know that full well. She was my world, my everything. And now? You are no longer useful. She called out your name as she died, you know. What? What are you saying? And then they thought you'd done it. It all worked perfectly. You? It was you? You bastard! You monster! For the love of God, Karzak! Which one? So... I... am honestly baffled by how bad Karzak's voice actor is. <laughs> okay, I save it again. just raffle his body without making sure he was really dead. There were no signs of life, but I checked that Ubiye really was beyond help. We were going to need the stone to thwart Karzak. I knew Ubiye would have approved. It was the Jaguar stone, alright. So what have you got in your inventory that you can use on him? Well done. It's a weapon, so it stands to reason, right? Yeah, that's a lot of blood. We stabbed him directly and there's a massive artery in the thigh. Pirates? No, the reenactor. I was work. about to make good my escape when. What? Who the hell are you? Uh, I can explain everything. Don't bother. Sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, it is guy. It's Guy Bruce I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were making a movie. So, who are you? Stobart, George Stobart. Uh, two B's and two T's. Doesn't matter. It's okay, Mr. Hawks. He wasn't in the shot. Hawks? This had to be Carlton Hawks, the newest enfant terrible of Tinseltown. I'd read about him. Mailroom boy makes good. Nice to know it was still possible to get to be a director armed with only an encyclopedic knowledge of postal charges. Stay out of the way, surfer boy. I'll deal with you later. Surfer boy? So I think this is just a weird enough place to stop for the moment. Yes. So I've been Merrick D'Amato. And I've been Classic Gamer. And we'll see you guys next time. Ciao. Ciao. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played, edited, and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. And he's been helped by me, Classic Gamer. You can find a link to Classic's YouTube channel, Classic's Gamer, and his Twitch in the description below. 
Please like, comment, and subscribe.